How's it going everyone? A uh, very quick, hopefully very quick, tutorial for you. So a lot of people struggle with um, babies who may be tied up, uh, tie their umbilical cord in a knot, uh, or even get their umbilical cord wrapped around them and tied. Um, this little beauty is a DG pied, and typically what he's done, he's decided, or she's decided, to knot up the umbilical cord. Now, it's not wrapped around him or her, but what it has done, it's stopping the uh, the umbilical, it's stopping the, the yolk from being absorbed because it's in a knot. This baby was out, of, fully out the egg this morning, and it was still attached to the yolk and the umbilical cord. Now, what I don't like to do, I don't like to tie it off and cut it. That's kind of the last, or the second procedure, if you like. First thing I like to try and do is unknot it. And I'm going to show you how. Now I'm not saying this is always successful. I've never, I think I've I've cut one umbilical cord and tied it off once. Um, but this is the preferred method, what I like to do, so I'm going to show you now. So we've got ourselves some blue towel. I've um, disinfected the tools which are probing tools, okay? which I use to, to help undo the knot. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. It's not gonna be straightforward, well, hopefully it's gonna be straightforward, but it might not be. So, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I literally just put the baby back in the egg while I got set up. But I'm gonna show you, hopefully show you, it's knotted just there okay so there's a bit of a knot so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to undo it but there's always that opportunity or chance that I may not so if I go a little bit quiet it's because I'm going to be concentrating so what I'm going to do I'm going to first of all thread that through as you can see I can go through so it's not tight okay so I've got to get the baby through that knot and as you can see, I know I've got to go that way. So, I've got two options. The, the yolk has still got blood vessels attached, which are still in the egg. So I've got to try and figure out now, am I better to put the baby through that hole, make that loop bigger? Or am I better off to put the yolk through? So, I feel I'm, I'm going to be better off to put the, the baby through. So I need three hands. So what we're going to do, we're going to widen the knot, like so. Okay, and then we're going to try and... So I need three hands. Okay. So I'm going to try and set this up as best as possible. Uh, I've got Mel here to give me a hand, which is fortunate because this will require me, someone filming it and someone doing the work, kind of. So, right, let's try and get this set up. I'm going to do exactly the same. So there's the knot. So you want to come through the knot this way. So we're going to go through this way. And put the other one through. That's it. That's it. Okay. If you're gently just going to separate it gently. That's it. And all I'm going to do, keep it like that. So I'm going to thread the tail through. Come on. Like so, I'm going to thread it backwards, that's it, keep it like that, quite 
Come on. Kind of, can you come back? Move your hands backwards. That's it, give me a bit of, a bit of space, that's it. So that's it. So now, if you let go, pull them out. So there we have it, guys. The knot is undone, still intact. It still has an opportunity to absorb that yolk. Now, whether it does or not is another question. The baby is a little bit weak, um, but we've undone the knot now. So hopefully, I've caught that as best as I can on camera. So I'm going to put the baby back in the egg. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some um, fluid in there, which will be uh, sort of like uh, basically water, with, which will be like purified water, uh, which will obviously help all that stay moist and hopefully help uh, the baby absorb the yolk. Um, so you don't always have to jump in and cut the, the cord, guys. There is, as you've seen me there, it wasn't a tight knot using these ends you can undo the tight knots because they are bulbous so you can just literally just push it through nice and easy without causing any damage hopefully now that baby's going to go back in the incubator now and uh, get some good rest and hopefully absorb that yolk um, but stay tuned and i'll let you know how that goes how's it going everyone just give you a quick update on that baby um i'll probably add this at the end of the video or if you've seen this at the end of the video then it's obviously added uh, so this was the baby that we unknotted the, uh, the the knot in the cord now it did come out of the egg again uh, and then I'll put it back in and it stayed in there now now it seems to be that the the actual umbilical cord has disconnected from the sack itself uh, automatically which is great um, not sure how this one's going to do because it seems to be okay i mean it's moving all that sort of stuff um but obviously it's not had the nutrients like this one's had or you know this one's had or any of them really so keep an eye on this one now um i'll do some little stories as the time goes on then i'll add it all together in one video for you guys to obviously <clears throat> see how i deal with things and uh yeah, uh, rather than just jumping in and cutting the uh, the yoke or the the um, the knotted area, you can actually do it without that. So uh, check back, and I'll add some updates at the end of this video. How's it going, everyone? Hope you're all well. Just a very quick update video. I've just finished filming a YouTube video on this girl, and as you can see, this was the female with the knotted umbilical cord I'm trying to do this one handed as you can see she's gone through a shed cycle and she's doing okay uh, the fact that she's gone through her shed cycle um, is a very positive thing for me I think that's a, a good healthy sign um, she didn't absorb her yolk due to the fact that the knot had been there for too long possibly um, and the female just couldn't absorb it um, but anyway she's gone through the shed cycle so i'm just about to set her up i think she's beautiful absolutely beautiful and we're going to get her feeding um she obviously didn't absorb her yolk so i'm pretty confident she'll be hungry she's tongue flicking looking like she's ready to explore the world but um i love the dg pie project um unfortunately i have hatched something that I want to spend more time on which requires more racks or more more tubs let's say so I will be letting go some of my double het projects like the DG Pied but for now I hope this has helped you I hope it's been informative guys if you have any questions and you want any help please don't hesitate to drop me a message and I will do my best to help you guys but for now I hope you're all well take care and I'll see you guys in the next one